how to teach silent E or CVCE syllables. As our readers move from reading mostly single syllable words to longer words, they need to be armed with strategies to help them break apart these longer words into smaller chunks. Otherwise, they may just guess at or even skip over longer words while reading. Learning the six syllable types can help our readers find common patterns they know in longer words. The six syllable types include closed syllables, open syllables, silent E syllables, R controlled syllables, vowel team syllables, and cons consonant plus LE syllables, sometimes called final stable syllables. Today, we're moving on to silent E syllables, and sometimes I'll refer to these as CVCE syllables. Now your learners might be able to read shorter silent E syllables like these words, cake, side, and vote. But how do you teach kids to look for and read silent E syllables in longer words like these? I have found it's easiest to begin teaching these syllables when they come at the end of the words like you see in the word cupcake and beside. If you've already taught your, your readers the steps of dividing words that have an open and closed first syllable, this will build on what they already know. So this is really important, especially for our struggling readers. Let's walk through the steps of teaching learners how to identify and read words with the final CVCE syllables, starting with this word. Like all the other words we've studied so far, we first want to ask our learners to find the vowels in the word. Circle or label them. I'm going to use a V for vowel. Now, as we see here, we have three vowels, not two. So next, we want to ask our learners, does it have a silent E on the end of the word? And if the answer is yes, we want to teach our learners to just lightly slash through it so they can remember we're not going to pay attention to that E just yet. Once they've found the vowels and they've slashed through that silent E, we want them to look in between the two vowels for consonants. And remember, we're ignoring silent E for now. Now, this word has two consonants in between the vowels. And when we see two consonants in between the vowels, we split the word right between the consonants. Now, once that longer word's been divided into two syllables, we want to encourage our readers to look at each syllable. So first, what do they see on the end of the first syllable? Yes, there's a P and that closes in the U. So that first syllable, the U is going to have its short sound and we have the word cup. And even though it's slashed through, now we want to pay attention to that silent E. We want to look at the letters in the second syllable and we can see that we have a silent E syllable or a VCVE syllable. That silent E is going to help the A make its long vowel sound A. So we have cake. And together we have cup, cake, which makes cupcake. Let's follow those same steps with this word. Again, ask your learners to find the vowels first. Circle or label them. And again, we have three vowels, not just two. So do we have a silent E on the end of the word? Yes, we do. And we're going to slash through it to remind ourselves we're not going to pay attention to it just yet while we divide the word. Once those vowels have been found and the E's been slashed through, we're going to look in between the vowels for consonants. Remember, we're not going to pay attention to silent E just yet. This word has one consonant in between the vowels. And when there's one consonant in between the vowels, we've learned that the consonant usually goes with the second syllable. We've le already learned it doesn't always, but it usually goes with the second syllable. So that's where we're going to put it. Once the longer word has been divided, our readers need to look at each syllable. So first, let's look at the first syllable. We just have an E on the end of the, the syllable there. So it's not a con there's not a consonant closing in the E. It's free to shout its name out the door. So it's an open syllable, B. And even though it's slashed through, it's now time to pay attention to silent E. 
If we look at that syllable, we have a silent E syllable, or we might say a CVCE syllable. The silent E helps that I make its long vowel sound of I. So we have side. So first we have B, then we have side. And of course that makes the word B side. Now here are a couple of reminders when it comes to teaching silent E syllables. First, CVC syllables have a silent E at the end of them. The vowels in these syllables make their long sound. And again, we want to start by decoding words with CVC E syllables in their second syllables, like in the word cupcake. It makes it more consistent for our readers. Now, I'm sharing some free silent e-syllable printables on my blog you can use to help your learners divide and read real and silly words. I also have a six-syllable type interactive pack in my shop. The links to all these resources are in the description below. Thanks for joining me at This Reading Mama, where you'll find hands-on learning for home or school.